Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Lenovo ThinkBook Plus Gen 6 Rollable. Now, this is a laptop that essentially gives you two displays in one, because while it has the appearance of a traditional 14-inch Ultrabook, weighs a little under four pounds, which might sound a little heavy for a 14-incher, it's because the display is an OLED 120 hertz rollable screen that goes from a 5 by 4 aspect ratio 14 inch display to a 16.7 I believe 8 by 9 aspect ratio with the push of a button. Everything else about it is what you'd expect from an ultrabook. Again that's a 120 hertz panel. It's the star of the show clearly a proof of concept but really a proof of where technology likely is going to go in the future in an effort to make things lighter but more capable when it comes to productivity work. So let's talk about specs and I'll get it out of the box. I'll include a link in the description. I do not believe at the time of this video you can order one, but availability should be soon. Uh, an Intel Core Ultra 7 258V under the hood. We have 32 gigs of RAM soldered to this. Um, so that is not upgradable for those of you wondering. Some of the fastest RAM on the market though. So that's definitely uh, a nice touch. One terabyte uh, NVMe SSD. It's a 22 42 drive for those of you wondering Wi-Fi 7 uh, under the hood and um, beyond that Bluetooth 5.4 uh, so it's pretty much everything you need to know about specifications and internals let's go ahead and get it out of the box and really um, as soon as I saw this I knew that this was going to be incredibly cool the question was which consumer would see this and say, you know, I've got to have it. Now, one of the things that's interesting that, about this for me personally is that even though this is not designed to do any sort of gaming, it does have Intel's Arc 140V uh, integrated GPU. So this thing actually can game. Um, something I keep, you know, having to wrap my head around every single time I see a new Ultrabook with the 140V on board. So the power brick, if you were expecting tiny, you were right. Type C and your tiny wall wart. I mean, is this, could we call it a wall wart? Not really. And that's it. I mean, it's crazy. But let's get to the machine itself. And it's just amazing that Lenovo continues to push the envelope. This is the type of stuff I always appreciate when manufacturers do it because they don't need to. They can stay, you know, in line making boring stuff till we all basically kick the bucket. But when someone comes along and makes something like this, you get my attention because it is unique. You see, we've got the all recycled look here and out comes this guy. Now it looks a lot like the, the design language of the ThinkBook lineup, as you would expect. That silver, now we have two-tone, Lenovo logo, ThinkBook Plus branding at the camera module lip. Uh, the hinge looks a lot like, well, a couple different machines, I would say. You can, seeing the profile here, you can see it's a little bit chunky. And that's because, again, this is not a regular 14-inch laptop. Um, nothing on this side other than the power button, which is also a fingerprint scanner. Come to the front of the machine, you can see we have a privacy switch on the camera module lip right there. Come to the left side, we've got a headphone microphone combo jack and two Thunderbolt 4 ports. You'll be doing your charging there with the included charger that I just pointed out. Um, LED will let you know status on the charging process. Lots of ventilation. As I stated, 32 gigs of RAM soldered here. Um, and... Uh, the NVMe is, I believe, user replaceable, but let's go ahead and open this thing up because that's what it's all about is this crazy rollable display. So as we often get with Lenovo, we have a little layout of the buttons and explanation. Do not press hard on the screen. They let you know immediately. The camera switches up there. Connect the AC when you first turn it on. That is the power. Um, the shortcut keys, the IR camera and then rolling up and down. They let you know that the uh, button is right there. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a little bit of a flow since it's a little dust ball and some other stuff. And that's the one thing I would say is that the rollable, I'm noticing some stuff here. So it's like, I just, I would say if I owned this, I would be meticulous about making sure as best I could 
that things would not roll there. Um, again, it's just part of having something this cool. What else can I tell you? Let's go ahead and power it on. Uh, the display is high gloss. We do have power out of the box. Lenovo did prep this. I'm not the first to get this. Reviews have been done, I think, in excess of a month ago. Pretty thick bezel on this, but again, 5x4, wonky. I think it's like 2,000 by 1,600 in this um, aspect ratio, but then when it extends, you've got more resolution because you got more screen. Now, I don't know how far this actually... I guess that's it. So that, yeah, any more and we've got a problem. So that you're not going to bend this more than the angle it's at presently like this. That's that's as far as you can go back based on the engineering of this rollable display. Now, it kind of looks like we've got uh, privacy on here because it's not very viewable from the top down. I'm kind of shocked. So what I will do is just flip it like this. So you can actually see the display when I do this. I'm going to go ahead and hit this and I assume it's going to work. That is so cool. I mean, tell me that is not so cool. It actually is off the frame. Um, let me. <laughs> um, and you can see it just also gave us a little like uh, task bar that we can look at. Um, this is not touch screen. Remember, it said do not press hard. Um, don't press at all is what I would say. I just did that to see if we would see any wavering in the panel. Um, but everything looks good. Um, so basically, you can have widgets loaded on here if you want to, or you can just leave it as an extension of the display. Let me go ahead and get out of this tutorial. So I'll dig into this. We'll see the practicality, the use case scenarios. Um, but I think you get the idea. If you're crunching numbers, if you're a writer, uh, there are just so many different reasons that the extra vertical height is beneficial for that road warrior traveling. Now, for gaming, there's no beneficial I mean, you could turn this on its side, I guess, <laughs> that you have a wider display, um, but that would be a lot of fun um, playing with uh, video settings to, to actually set up. Um, but overall, it's really just about having more space for productivity, obviously, and still in a really small form factor. I mean, as I bring this back to a regular uh, position so that I could actually work on it, um, it's just incredibly cool. Now, do I think this first gen is going to be what everybody runs out and buys in excess of a $3,000 price point? Because I think that's where it was seated about a month ago. It was over three grand for this. For what typically is an ultra book that commands much less, no, I don't think everyone's going to run out. But anyone who says to themselves, I won't have to carry a portable monitor anymore, so I could build in, I don't know, $300 to on top of the normal price. And then from a convenience standpoint, what would be the premium I'd be willing to pay beyond the actual literal price? And 300 is not a good price to actually make that. But you see what I'm getting at. This is an OLED display. It's 120 hertz. Uh, you are getting a nice concealed single package. The noise it makes going up and down, not bad. I mean, my primary monitor for work and play is the LG Flex. It's much more noisy when it flexes, but here, you know, we are getting, um, you know, something unlike anything ever before. So very cool to see this again, just kudos to Lenovo for actually making it. And I see a lot of potential for where this is going to go. It's just like foldable phones and foldable displays for laptops, tablets. This is how things get bigger while becoming smaller. And this is just the beginning. So very excited. It, it may look like a prototype in some ways, which I totally appreciate. Um, haptic trackpad, by the way. So for those of you uh, Apple fans that want it in the PC world and then PC users that just want it because, well, you think it's better, it's here. So it's a very premium product. Interesting that they launched it as a ThinkBook, uh, but that is the ThinkBook line tends to be where they get funky and experimental. So again, I just like that this exists. Speakers on the bottom. I didn't mention that before. I will test it all and... Um, in the first update, you're going to see what the audio video is like, battery life. I think it's like a 60 some odd watt hour battery. So not a hulking battery, but I still expect decent performance. It'll be interesting to see what kind of hit the battery takes when we go to the unrolled uh, segment. And again, from a durability standpoint, I think the rollable display, um, it's really expensive technology. The only rollable TV on the market is just 
ridiculous. I mean, it's, no one considers it for that reason. So very cool that Lenovo has put this into a portable package. This is how things start, folks. They start small and end up big. Lenovo, keep pushing that envelope. Incredibly cool. I'll let you know how practical it is. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them at that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.